If you're not dead yet, this could be an important episode for you. <laughs> how true, how true. Mm. Listen, there's so much you can need to do to be ready to die. Isn't it true? Yeah, you I mean, know, uh, and this is this is a topic that not only we've been dying to share with our audience, but we're going to do it probably, and we have done it in the past several times in various different ways. But we're, we're going to keep reminding you every year, because even if you are prepared to die, you should review it every year. Uh, as long as you're with us. And go ahead, yeah. John, tell them what we did a couple of years ago, two of us. Uh, we all made Living Trust with Darren Baker. Right. So if you want to see about Living Trust, go on our website, our YouTube channel, look up the Darren I'm gonna, Baker I'm, video. I'm going to put a link in, in the description below so that they don't have to hunt around for it. Good idea. Okay. Good idea. At any rate, here's the deal. It's not about you being ready to die. It's about you preparing your affairs mm -hmm. for all those people who love you, children, grandchildren, who knows who else, you know, maybe charities. And the real point is, are you ready? Have you, have you got your affairs in order? I think that's what we're talking about. Right. But, but also, not only have you gotten them in order, but if you have, because you've paid attention to what we've had said before and, and talked about before, we're seeing the Darren Baker uh, video that we shot years ago. But if you've done it, as conditions change, maybe you get older, uh, sure. you, you, you sell the house, uh, the kids graduate from college. So there's a whole bunch of different needs. Uh, maybe uh, some of the kids are doing better than others. You want a, a new relative you want to take care of or you want to get rid of that bum. Uh, but the really important thing is, and the reason we bring it up now, is that from time to time we have... Uh, uh, friends that pass away, and most of them have living trusts or wills, and some do not. And the ones that don't leave a real mess because things go yeah. into probate, and it takes forever to, for their yeah. spouse or their kids to uh, uh, get the funds. And uh, also, if they had a car in their own name and the, the spouse or the kid uh, who's the executor of the estate wants to get rid of it uh, and cash it in, uh, if you have a living trust and you have somebody properly uh, uh, prepare for you, and by the way, there are online services, but we went to uh, 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 Darren Baker to have ours done. Um, they give you things like pour over wills and lots of things where you just yep. show up with a death certificate and you have control of the bank accounts and everything else. So yeah. it's important that even if you have one, and don't be afraid of the cost because the five, six, seven hundred dollars in most cases, uh, you can get the basics done in a nicely bound book like we do with Darren Baker. And I've, I've seen, and we're not going to point you to any of those. You can look yourself depending on what state you're in. But there are plenty of online resources that provide the same kind of right. service. And they're, it's a pretty standard kind of thing these days. So if you don't have one, you're better having one than none. And if you do have one, get it updated just so that sure. it, it reflects what you want to do today. Exactly. And your current situation. Sometimes you uh, buy something, a big asset, or sell a big asset. And and uh, all of that needs to change in your, hopefully, in your, um, uh, not just a will, but in your estate plan. Right. So the other thing is, I think you, you just need to go through this every year and just update your beneficiaries. You know, mm. people die, people come and go. Um, Darren likes to joke about uh, cutting out the kid who doesn't pay attention to you, cutting them out of your will. But the point is, you, there's lots of reasons why you need to change beneficiaries sometimes. And um, you just need to, we just, that's what this video is about. We want to caution you to go back over your papers. If you don't have a will or a living trust, consider getting one soon, right away. And this is for any age. You know, you should be doing this in your 30s, quite frankly. And maybe your 40s, and certainly if you have children. But here we are in our 70s, and uh, it's a really good idea to update it. And we're purposefully not dying to share this information with you every year. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.